Hey guys, so today I'll be reviewing the LEGO Speed Champions Pagani Utopia and I'm also going to show you what I like and don't like about this build. Alright, so let's do it. Alright, so starting with the design here at the front. First of all, I really like the detail of the printer lights. I think LEGO have done a great job with that. I also like the design of the lower bumper here. However, to me, it just looks a little bit bulky. And lastly, I also really like the little carbon fiber sticker addition. I think that makes it look really cool. Coming along the side, I really like how, how Lego have captured the really sleek design of this Pagani. I also really like the design of the rims with the light grey strip going around. So you can either have this design or this design. Let me know which one you think looks better in the comments below. I like the little stickers of the vents on each side and on the top of the wheel arcs too. I think they look quite cool. However, the only downside for me of the side profile of this car is the mirrors. I just think they look a little bit flat because in the actual car, they're more curved. So I think Lego could have done a better job on designing the mirrors to make them look more curved. But apart from that, the side profile of this car looks really cool. Coming on the back, first of all, I really love the printed exhausts with the chrome surround. I think it looks super cool. I love how LEGO have used some doors to create the signature V-shape on each side. And I also really like how LEGO have managed to angle the back of this Pagani by using some hinge pieces just in the back, just here. Also, I really love the design of the rear diffuser with the printed detail in the middle just there. And coming along to the other side, I like the fill cap detail. I think that just adds the next level of realism to this build. The last bit of design that I really love is the engine just behind the cabin. I think LEGO have done a great job at designing it and fitting it into this build. All right, now we come on to the last part of this build and that is the interior. So starting with the dashboard, you've got your steering wheel here. I really love the details of all the speed dials and things. I think LEGO have done a great job at that. And you've also got your singular gear selector just there as well. And lastly, I really love the design of the seats. And I think this color works really well with this car. And this interior can actually fit a minifigure just like that. Alright, so that's pretty much the end of this review for the Pagani Utopia. Overall, I think it has a great design and looks really sleek. So that's why I'll rate it a 9 out of 10. It's just that for me, the mirrors on this build don't look so good. And that this front end here could be reworked slightly. But apart from that, it looks great. If you want to see some other reviews that I've done on Lego sets, then click on the links in the description. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. And please subscribe to my channel.